everybody. Welcome tonight. My name is Pam Clift, and I'm the business leader here at Champion Enterprises, and we want to welcome you to Cookie with Tupperware and Champion. <laughs> and so I hope you're ready to have a great night with some fun recipes. Tonight is Dad's Dude Dinner, and so we have one of our guy chefs, our dads, uh, that's going to do a recipe. And then we also have a, another chef, Amy, who is going to do Dad's favorite dinner, <laughs> all right? Dad's favorite dessert, actually. And so we're ready to have a good time. And before we get started, we just want to let you know that this is a very special week because we have uh, the last week that our hostesses can get in on a really cool product um, that is going to be for them when they have that Tupperware party. And so obviously, always when you have a Tupperware party, you can get hostess gift specials that are so cool. And this is our ice prism set. I put my lemons in here just to show you can see how pretty it is. Um, it is edged to make it look like lead crystal, and it's very, very practical. They will take a tumble and still come up with a winner. I promise you that. I saw that happen <laughs> today. <laughs> Names not mentioned, but I love the three-piece set because I can do um, I, I can do it for desserts, uh, two, three different desserts, or I can do chips and uh, dip inside of here. Uh, this is really a perfect size for pretzels as well. So chips, pretzels, and some dip in there. Uh, beautiful for potato salad, macaroni salad, fruit salad, toss salad. Uh, just a very gorgeous set and very practical. Now, this is wonderful for your lemon water or your strawberry lava water, your cucumber water, or just your fresh water, iced tea, strawberry daiquiri. Um, it's also really good for you to use. Um, I mean, iced tea is beautiful in here. And so I love using this pitcher because like, first of all, it's lightweight. If you have a very big lead crystal pitcher like this, it's already heavy before you put anything in it. And so we just make it very practical to use our beautiful pitcher line uh, that looks like, but and acts like glass, but it is beautiful acrylic. Um, and then we also have our tumblers. I will share with you, these are very nice and I love it because it's a nice smooth uh, top. They're easy to drink from and they are very nice with ice in it um, and, and uh, you know, just a nice cool day or a nice hot day outside, a cool refreshing drink. And then we have four of the plates as well. So you're going to get four plates, four tumblers, three bowls and a pitcher. Yay. And with a $500 party in sales with two days. However, there is a special deal going on. And now this is Tupperware glass. This is not acrylic. All right. This is glass, 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 glass. And um, what that's really cool about this is um, the seal is Tupperware. And so you have uh, the, it's a really cool glass uh, uh, container for microwaving and putting it in the refrigerator and putting it in the freezer and putting it in the, the oven. I know all of that in my container. Where have you ever heard of glass that does that? Well, of course, Tupperware had to make it special, right? And so we have this brand new glass line that will do all of that for you. And you can take it from the refrigerator and put it in the oven and not worry about it too. Isn't that crazy? And so I'm trying to get this lid off of here because it does have a suction on there. So when you pull it off of there, you're going to have it sucking a little bit. So you have to pull it, kind of peel it off of there. Um, and then you have that seal come open for you. Now this seal is made and so it is, does come apart. So it's perfect for easy cleaning. And that's very important because you want to be able to take this apart and clean it up really good and then pop it back on there too as well. I really will share with you. I also love these look hinges. Um, remember it's Tupperware. So if it ever cracks with peel strips breaks, you're going to get it replaced absolutely free. The seal, not the glass, all right? But the glass is um, crash resistant. So it's, uh, it's not unbreakable, but it's virtually uh, uh, break resistant. And so it's very practical for that. So you can really, really enjoy this product line. And if you're a host with this, you're the first to get it. For $23.50, you're going to get the two pieces. You can choose the cranberry seal, or you can have that pretty blue seal, which I love this teal blue. It's very pretty color. Um, and so you get two different sizes, the small and the medium. And um, I'm hoping there's going to be future sizes too that our hosts are going to be able to get in on. So that's so fun because our hosts always get in on things first. And so if you're a host, get excited. In fact, if you're a guest with us, we need you to sign in and say, hey, I'm a guest. And go ahead and put it in the chat. We like to give away free Tupperware. And this is how we find you is that we can tell that who's on. And then we do random numbers, um, one through, you know, how many people we have on. And we have a left, give us a number and you're a winner. So we'll do random draws tonight. And if you're a host, put in the chat, hey, my name is.
post and who your Tupper lady is so we know which party you belong to um, because we want to give a grand prize out to our host this evening too so we can send out some free Tupperware for you okay and we also do a trivia tonight so our first trivia question is fun what father and daughter duo had a billboard number one hit what father and daughter duo had a billboard number one hit all right, I bet my husband knows this one. And we are going to give you a few chances to answer that, give you a few minutes to answer that and see who can um, come up with a lucky uh, answer on that. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn it over to our tougher chef, uh, our dad chef tonight, dad's to dinner, Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne. Um, okay, I'm making hamburgers for uh, dad, I guess, myself. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, show a couple items here. Um, right now, I'm actually uh, just kind of speed things up, um, put our meat in uh, a bowl, get some seasoning with our uh, seasoning shakers, a bit of onion powder, garlic, um, whatever other ingredients you'd like to do. We kind of mix them up, mix it all inside your bowl here. Um, I'm also going to use the hamburger press. Makes burgers easy and round, awesome. And also comes, you can get the, the extra containers for saving. There is a lid, but I couldn't find the lid. <laughs> it's kind of nice because you can kind of put three different burgers as you're making them. You can put them in the freezer and you don't have to have a lid for each one. They put them on top of each other and the other container actually seals off the one below. And then obviously when you have the lid, I do not have, you put the lid on and you got four burgers that you can save either and put it in the refrigerator, um, if you're gonna make uh, dinner later or lunch or whatever, or you can put them in the freezer. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do here is I already have my meat already kind of balled up. And all you gotta do is put the ball in the middle, press down, and now uh, Ellen, did a demonstration uh, come some time ago, which I didn't know, but there's actually some markers. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like a side says a third of a pound. And then you can, which has like a little gauge here and you line that up to the top of the blue here. And that'll be like a third of a pound. And then you got on the other side, uh, you can tell a quarter pound. There's like a little notch. You can see this one over here. It's a notch. So you line that up and you're like, hey, there's a quarter of a pound. Awesome. Okay. So I just kind of swish it around a little bit and kind of see how that goes. And I'm going to be using the Micro Pro Grill. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good thing about this, you can put all sorts of stuff in it. Um, what happens here is this. Part of the grill heats up, and so does this bottom part here. So it gets up to about 425 degrees in just a couple minutes. Um, I usually do, um, you can do pork chops. I like to do brat, brats in it um, from frozen. It usually takes a little bit longer, but if you don't have them frozen, obviously it takes a little less. Uh, this, this is also good for making um, appetizers. We've done all sorts of different kinds of appetizers, uh, spinach and artichoke dope, uh, chip dip. That's always good in there. Um, chicken dip, um, all sorts of, we also roasted some peppers in this, many different ways of using that. So what I'm going to do, luckily it's not hot, is put the container over, and then it'll kind of slide on out in the middle. There you go. There's two couple different settings on your grill. This one here is which I'm going to be using is considered the searing position. So it's actually going to be touching the meat so it kind of cooks it a little bit quicker. Or if you put it in the casserole position, I think for a second. So now it's up top and it doesn't touch your food. So obviously you don't when you're doing a spinach and artichoke dip, you don't want the top to be on top of it. And it gets all, all the good stuff, like the cheese, gets on on top, not staying inside your uh, dip. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw this in the microwave. I did one a little bit earlier. It took about four minutes. 
put it on high. And I'll start that. So I have that, and all I'm going to do now is demonstrate the mandolin. This is a cool uh, item. Um, comes with an extra blade on the bottom. It's like I got a little storage thing here, and this is this one here is a little wavy. I don't know if you can tell. See all the little waves. So if you're gonna make like some waffle fries. Um, that's always fun with the kids. Make a bunch of different uh, fries, um, which I'll show you different ways of making fries. Um, this collapses for storage purposes, but we got it out already. And it kind of doubles as a finger saver. I call it a finger saver, but while you're doing your thing, you hold this so you don't get your digits in the way. <clears throat> And right here, it's got a couple different safety features. And this one here is, you can kind of see where it's, it has a lock on the top here. So that means it's in the lock position. And this here, if you pull it out, you twist it, twist it far enough. Oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's, what is that? Uh oh. We have a malfunction. Anyways, oh, I wasn't pushing it far enough. <laughs> oh, I know why. So I got to do two things here because it's got two safeties. Sorry about that. Here's the other safety, and this safety here actually lowers this platform. So that's why the blades weren't coming up. So what you do here is you pull this one out and it's got the little numbers so you can kind of gauge on how thick you want things. So if you can watch this top go up and down. And so what you do is you kind of pull, pull it out and put it to a certain height. You can kind of see how there's a gap there. So that's what's gonna, how it's gonna cut. Don't use your fingers there, that's not fun. So what I was trying to do before, <laughs> is this has got little blades that cut horizontal. You can kind of see that. That is, I think, a quarter of an inch. And I think the other way is a little bit tighter, which I think is like an eighth of an inch. So you make like uh, shoestring uh, French fries, or you can make them longer. You can cut with um, peppers or carrots, anything like that. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna do a tomato because everybody likes tomatoes on their burgers. Um, here's the other guard. This is for your hand. And it actually has some spikes. I don't know if you can see the spikes, and that kind of keeps your whatever you're cutting in place. So you kind of want to stab your whatever your your onion or tomato. And now you got to see how it kind of keeps it secure. Then you gotta look to see how high, how thick you want your tomato slices. You make it a little bit thick. We like thick tomatoes. And all you gotta do is just kind of push it along. Oops. Push it a little bit. Sometimes you gotta get it started. And once it gets started, look how easy that is. Look at that. Perfect. I feel like I'm an excellent chef. And what we have here is our fridge stackable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in here for safekeeping. I'm only going to need one tomato. So I'm going to put all the other ones. Look at that. That's awesome. Got to leave one out, right? Okay. I'm going to put that over there. And then the next thing, oh, burger's done. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, one of the things, the other thing is we're going to do is an onion. You don't want to use cut this end because that's what makes you crack. So what you want to do is kind of cut the other end. You want to peel all the little stuff off after before you cut it. So I always cut the one end off and then do a little peeling. Nobody wants the skin on your burger. I guess I should have done this earlier, huh? Nobody wants to see me peel the skin off. Yeah. 
why the cooking shelves always have everything prepped, right? Oh, some noise from the peanut gallery. Anyways, so I got it ready. I'm gonna stab my onion. We're gonna make that a little bit thinner. I don't want to be tasting onions all night, but part of the night. So again, you just kind of rip this through. And as you're pushing it, you can kind of see that it just kind of pushes the onion all the way down. So we're only going to use a little bit of onion on this one. A little bit more this onion in here. And I'm just going to take a little, little slice. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I'm starting to smell the onion now. Can you smell it? That's a strong one. And then we're not going to use all of the onion. I'm going to push this out. Put the rest of it in our onion keeper. Awesome. Keep it so then it doesn't smell up your refrigerator. Nobody wants a smelly onion fridge. So. Okay, what do I got here? All right, so get the burger off. Woo! That's me. All right. Look at that. This comes right off. And actually, what I'll do now is a paper towel because it's non stick. You can actually wipe this thing off. That's ready to go again. Look at that. You don't even have to wash it. Kidding. But here, there you go. Look at that. It's got the reservoir that on the sides here. Collect all the grease and all the yuck. Nobody wants to cook, keep cooking in that Ooh, as it slides around a little bit. And then I'll get my spatula. We got a spatula here. Tupperware spatula. Pull that off to the side. Put it over there. What you can do. I think what I'm gonna do here, I forgot. I like cheddar cheese on my burgers. So I got the little Tupperware cheese cutter. So I'm gonna cut little slices. I'm gonna put, yeah, we, everybody likes cheese. I'm gonna put three little slices on there. Nice and thin. I'll put that on top. And what I normally do is I put this in a casserole position because it's still hot. You just kind of put that in there, and what's going to do is going to help melt that cheese. So, what you got here? I made a burger earlier. So, what you're going to do is we got our squeezables. These are awesome for all your condiments. We got our mustard, we got our mayo, and we got the ketchup. So, we like all that stuff. I like to mix it up a little bit. I'll put Little mayonnaise on the bottom. Do a little bit of that. Try to do everything a little bit quick. Just get a little bit of mustard and ketchup on there. I feel like I'm back at McDonald's when I was in high school. Got that. The Piccadilly. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. Gotta get some stackable pickles. We have a little bit of a competition in here. I don't know if it's competition, but um, somebody just likes the dill pickles. I like the, is it the butter, bread and butter ones? That's for me, though. So I'll throw a couple pickles on there. I got my nice sliced tomato. And oops, I put away my onion too quickly. Go grab one, got my onion, throw that baby on there. Bam, look at that. And everything else goes good, good summer ale. There you go, happy Father's Day. Oh, awesome, thank you so much, you did phenomenal. How many of you love that, love that, love that? Put it in the chat, that was some hearts. Um, Dwayne, you're so much fun. Now, Dwayne is married to one of our top directors in the company, Lori. 
And Lori and Dwayne um, do work the business together, you can see. And it's one of the cool things about Dwayne Tupperware is all the time, uh, they'll do double duo demos or one will do the demo and the other one will uh, run the camera uh, when it's FaceTime parties and Facebook parties. Then when it's in home parties, sometimes they both go. And sometimes they ask for Dwayne alone, right, Lori? <laughs> all right. She's, she's listening. She heard you. <laughs> tonight. So congratulations, Claire. Okay, Claire, congratulations tonight. And Robin, thank you for having Claire on with us this evening. Um, you know, Robin is one of our chefs off times too. In fact, uh, she is a dynamic chef. She'll be cooking for us next week, a red and blue dessert. So you want to be on next week to see that and check that out. Uh, so thanks so much, Robin, for having guests on this evening with us. All right. So guys, um, one of the cool things about Tupperware is you can uh, try and see Tupperware. Did you guys know that? We do have a try and see program. So if you're looking at everything and you're like, I want this, I want this, I want this, you know what's kind of what happened to me. When I had uh, my first Tupperware party, or I went to a first Tupperware party, I wanted so much stuff. I like needed, a, I needed some kind of special um, program to give me the money that I needed to buy all the stuff I wanted with. And so it was really smart because the Tupperware lady said to me, well, why don't you just do the try and see program and you go ahead and join our business for six weeks. And if you like it, you stay with it. If you don't like it, you can quit and you keep the kit. No matter which kit you choose, you get to keep it. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I thought, hmm, for six weeks, I could buy everything I wanted in my kitchen and I would get a discount. So that kind of made a lot of sense to me. So I'm going to invite you to do the try and see program because you never know. You might love it. 
and you have three choices. You can try and see with a $15 investment and you get no product, but you do get to try and see Tupperware. And in the, in the next six weeks, you can try out the business. You can buy all the samples you want. Our samples are an extra discounted five price for us. You can get your discount price on everything that we have. And Tupperware, all new consultants, no matter which program or kit you choose, you have over $2,000 worth of rewards and gifts that they um, give you in your first 13 weeks of business, which you actually can earn in your first week of business if you choose to, if you want to get it all, all right? But you have 13 weeks to qualify, and they are free, over $2,000 worth of gifts. And so they count in the Try and See program, all right? The other thing that's really cool about the Try and See is we do have a $45 option for you. Now, the $45 option, you would get this set of bowls, which is our Servalier bowls. I love them. I love them because they have that beautiful round seal on the top of it, which all of our seals are, you know, pretty awesome, but the round ones are the best because the round, that means if the round makes sound square into the air, that means it's an airtight and liquid tight seal, not just an airtight seal. So this is cool though, because these are designed and so they're made to be like a pedestal. So if you're going to a family picnic, if you're going to go to church, uh, anything like that, and a church uh, dinner, you know, sometimes you take your seal off and you put it underneath the table because you think, oh, I want to put it underneath the table so I don't lose it. And then somebody comes through and they throw it away. And then you are without your seal to your bowl. I know. What fool would do that, right? But it happens, all right? So if you put your seal right underneath your bowl like that, it's designed to do that. It like picks it up and puts it on a pedestal like that little pedestal. Isn't that pretty? Kind of like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and so... If you have your potato salad, your macaroni salad, one of the bigger bowls, and you do this, then your bowl automatically sets up on the pedestal. So people go to it first because it's setting up a little higher. It looks a little more perky, right? So they go to it first, and then you get to take the first empty bowl off the table. <laughs> you know you love it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. My potato salad's empty. I might as well take my bowl. <laughs> I know. I'm being silly, but it is kind of true. All right. So this set of bowls. Now, it's also very practical. Not only are they really cheery in color, they're going to brighten up your day every time you use them in your kitchen, but they completely condense down inside of each other. So you only need room for one bowl, and you've got all three bowls because they're down in there beside and this, with the seals, and they seal up. So it's really cool. Now, the other thing that's in here in this $45 kit is you do get our tumbler with our straw, and our reusable straws are very, very nice and very smart, all right, because that is from certainly... I know it seems like a straw, really. How much space does that take up? Well, guys, how many of us use a straw every day? And two or three or five straws every day, it adds up, all right? So that's why we all want to chip in and use reusable straws. And then the Whip It. Boy, this is a great product, and I love it because when you spin this, it just curls like crazy. It goes around like crazy, and it really, really, really whips. Look, I'm going to spin one time, and you tell me how many times those whips go around. Wasn't that crazy? Look at that. See, I do with this little bit of effort, and that goes crazy. So you can see how fast that's going to whip up meringue. You can make your uh, mixed uh, dressings with this super easy. And uh, it will actually, um, you can do all kinds of fun things. But one of the things I like the most is making cool whip in here because it's fast, it's easy. Um, and we're going to actually do that in our team meeting on Thursday night. So if you're a guest here and you're like, I want to check out the team meeting. Tell your Tupperware lady that you want to join the team meeting and just check it out because you can be our guest there too. All right. And so this is the $45 kit. However, you take this, and by the way, this sells for $69. So the $45 kit is quite a deal. The $45 kit is actually $145 value. All right. And now this, take this piece away. And now this is our deluxe kit. Now the try and see program does include this as well. So you can try and see and get all of this Tupperware, which gives you a ton of Tupperware. And what I love about it, it's like um, a sampling. You get one of our Crystal Wave, you get one of our Modular Made, you get one of our breakfast, our, our breakfast maker, you get one of our Fridge Smart, one of our freezer containers. I love our spatula. Everybody in the world needs a spatula. Uh, it is a little interesting. You get one and you think, I need another one. And then you get two and you're like, it's always dirty. I need another one because it's that good of a spatula. You're going to want it all the time in your kitchen. And so you'll love it, love it, love it. And you have the power chef. Now you're thinking the power chef, what about the whip it? Totally different. This chops, it will mix for you, but not totally make a meringue like that will. Where this will chop, that'll make cool whip in no time flat. This will make it, but it's going to work a little harder. And this is a chopper, chopper, chopper. 
your onions. Uh, you're gonna make uh, beautiful uh, crisp it. You can put your potatoes in, I mean, your uh, apples in here. You're gonna make uh, potato salad. You could go ahead and chop your, or your hash browns, or you chop your potatoes in here. Um, you could go ahead and do your celery and your carrots and your onions and do that. Uh, when you're getting ready to make every single soup and every single spaghetti sauce and all that kind of stuff that you always use all of that for. Uh, quick and easy. And then you have the mini chopper. I love this one for a little bit of onion or garlic. It's really perfect for that. But I also use this to make pesto all the time. I love homemade pesto with your own basil and your own pine nuts, your own olive oil. Oh, so good, it's so easy. A little garlic in there, yum, 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 all right? And then keeps going. You have a thank you gift and you have a water bottle, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and a piece of vent serve. Oh, all of that is over $465 with the Tupperware and your cost is only 119. That is a heck of a good deal. We're trying to see. So you can try and see, all right? And so now we're gonna turn it over to our next chef. But before we do that, let's find another winner of free Tupperware. So um, Jessica, how many people do we have on right now? 27. All right. Hey Alexa, give me a random number between one and 27. Here's a number between one and 27. It's 14. 14. All right, number 14 is Lydia with Sevilla. Congratulations, Lydia. Congratulations, Lydia. Welcome tonight. We're so glad you're with us and we're glad that you're a winner. And thank you, Sevilla, for bringing a guest on this evening. Sevilla is one of our rising stars in the business. I can't wait to see her join the ranks of directors soon someday. Right now, we're getting ready to turn over to a three-star director, very successful. And Amy is a wonderful mom and a great wife. And she's going to show you one of dad's favorite desserts. Take it away, Amy. Awesome. Thank you, Pam. So I'm Really excited. Well, I'm excited, but Todd, my husband, is really excited because he loves his desserts and he loves strawberries. And so um, I'm actually going to show you guys a cobbler using fresh strawberries. Now, the recipe that I'm using, um, you can you don't have to use fresh strawberries. You can actually use um, canned fruits if you want or frozen fruits, too. All right. So you can use um, like pie filling. OK. Or you could use. Um, the frozen strawberries or frozen peaches, or you can even do uh, apples, fresh apples or fresh peaches. All right. But tonight we're going to use strawberries because they are amazing. And so let me just share with you. All right. Um, I about my strawberries real quick here. I, I have a couple of strawberries left to show you how I'm going to cut them up. But um, look at how fresh those are. And this is our awesome strainer that um, you can tell it's vintage, right? Um, my mom had one that I tried to steal years ago and she sold back for me. <laughs> but now I have our blue one and I love it. But anyway, it's great for your produce and it's great for your pastas too. But look at those strawberries, look how beautiful they are. And they are three weeks old, three weeks. And you're probably like, what? Yes, yeah, so I kept them in my Fresh Smart and before I cut them up, I did cut these up, um, but I, we recommend not to cut them up and not to clean them up unless you're gonna be eating them right away. So sometimes um, like when the kids are home, right? In the summertime and they are like, I want a snack. Then I will have these prepped and ready for them to go in, but I still dry them, okay? Because if they're dry, and they will last you longer, all right? So, but um, I did cut these up um and look at how beautiful so our fridge smarts these are part of our fridge smart line and they keep your produce um fresh anywhere from three weeks to eight weeks depending on what it is all right and obviously how it is when you buy it from the store too so but um these were beautiful when i got them and they're still beautiful today which is pretty awesome so um they have on here cheat sheets to let you know how to store your produce, all right? They actually, on the newer ones, they actually have a little um, QR code too that you can just scan that QR code and then you will know how to store them. You're like, what do you mean how to store them? So each produce has, um, they, they give off gases. And so some give off a lot, some give off a little, and some don't really give off any gases at all. And so Tupperware, they got together with University of Florida and they figured out how to store the fruits because some want a lot of air, some want a little bit of air, and some don't want any. And so on here, we have pictures. 
and with little circles. And there's also an X. X means it's not recommended going to the refrigerator. And then on the back or on, on, the, on the lids, you have, um, you have your little slider, okay? And so you just take that slider and put it on the opposite side of the picture, okay? And then you can just line up with the group which, which hole it needs to be on, all right? How much it needs to breathe. So, um, so the strawberries, berries don't like any air. So you're gonna have that bad boy closed up. So it's closed up right now, all right? But um, anyway, our strawberries, so beautiful, aren't they? That's awesome. And this is our pressure cooker. So I am using the pressure cooker to make this cobbler and it takes just 15 minutes in the microwave. And it's so easy, like it's ridiculously easy. And it's a family favorite. So the pressure cooker is great for doing quick meals. So I like last night I did chicken in here and I did it quickly. It was like, well, it was 15 minutes. Actually, I think it was 20 minutes, but it was kind of frozen still. So 20 minutes in here, I put the chicken in and I put some sauce on top of it and then I shred it up for sandwiches. So easy, right? So my kiddos are, they're crazy. They are playing ball, they're playing baseball, t-ball and basketball. So they have me running all over the place, but I still want them to have home cooked meals. So you can do a whole home cooked meal in here. You could do, um, like soups in here in just 20 minutes. You could do um, casseroles in here in just 30 minutes. There's a lot of crock pot meals that I do in here. And normally they're about 20 minutes for a crock pot meal rather than eight hours. So you're saving all kinds of money when you are using this because you are using less energy from the, um, the crock pot that's plugged in all day or from even the stove, all right? So this thing is awesome. Um, for those quick meals and they're really good. So if you put a whole chicken in here and they are tender, they just fall apart. You will love, love, love them. All right, so anyway, back to the cobbler, right? <laughs> so we have our strawberries already cut up and I did half of the strawberries in there now, all right? And then we're gonna use this crumble mix and it is cinnamon swirl crumble cake and muffin mix. And it is so Good, okay, so um, I already cut off the top. I'm gonna just put about half of this mix right on top. I'm gonna sprinkle it over top of those strawberries. Now, like I said before, you can do um, can if you want to do can, or you could do um, fresh peaches or fresh apples. Uh, we have done both. All right, so that's about half and of the flour mixture. And then we're gonna do about half of the cinnamon and sugar mixture right on top. And so I'm just sprinkling it right down in there. And this is also something that my kiddos love to help with. So we got that on there and I'm gonna use my spatula just to make sure that the, how, that uh, sugar is spread out evenly. Now, if you're like, oh my gosh, I need that pressure cooker and you need to talk to your consultant because there are a few ways that you can get it right now. So I do have our Chef Series knives, which these are one of my husband's favorite things because he absolutely loves his knives. He does. Um, and um, we do have a knife sharpener um, from Tupperware, which he also loves. And he uses that knife sharpener, not just for our kitchen knives, but he has used it on our, uh, on our scissors. And he has also used it on um, his his pocket knives, I don't know, but anyway, yeah. So I am just taking, we're taking one stick of butter. So for those of you who know me, I do a lot of Weight Watcher friendly recipes. Eh, this one's not so much Weight Watcher friendly. However, it is so, so yummy that you all will absolutely love it. So we're just taking the half of the stick now and putting that right on top of the mixture. All right. So I wanted to share with you guys a little trick on cleaning. I'm going to set this apart or set it aside for a second on your strawberries. All right. So you don't use, um, you don't lose all of the strawberry on top. Um, take the top and just twist. All right. So I got the leaves off and then we have these amazing peelers and on the side, 
Um, this is meant for your potato eyes, you know, on the potatoes, when you get those little eyes that you've got to cut out. I'm just going to use that right on that stem just to get that little stem out. All right, and then look, we are using most of the strawberry then. We're not losing out on our strawberries. So I'm just going to cut that up real quick, put it in there. And wipe my fingers off because I got berry juice. Okay, so now we're going to just put the rest of these strawberries right on top of that first. Um, that first set. All right. This is going to be so good. My husband is excited. <laughs> I'm excited to ask for this. All right, so now we're going to cut up the rest of the butter. But before we put that on, we're going to finish putting on the flour, which it just goes right on top of those strawberries. You don't have to really mix it at all, okay? But I probably will just dump that on there and then just um, try to make it more evenly. All right, so it's kind of like one of those, um, what are they called, drop, drop cakes? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, super easy, right? And then this is gonna go in the microwave for just 15 minutes and it'll be done and you can top it off with whipped cream, homemade whipped cream, which you wanna come on Thursday and see how to make that, right? Or you could top it off with some ice cream. Ice cream is always delicious too. So I'm just gonna put this lid on. Um, there are arrows on here. So you just line up the arrows and then there's this little lock mechanism. You're gonna push that down. You're gonna put it in the microwave on high for 15 minutes, let it come out and set for a few more minutes. Um, just so that this popper right here goes down. All right, so that <laughs> All right, but anyway, um, we're gonna once that goes down, then you can open it up and, and enjoy. All right, back to you, Pam. Motion detected. All right, so Daddy got got the. Wild treatment when he got home, huh? That was so cute. She's all excited with daddy's home. Yay! That's <laughs> so cute. Or the kids, too, probably. All right. So, how fun was that, guys? Now, Amy, great job. Once again, always so creative and so willing to share with us and cook for us. You know, that's one of the things that's the best part about the Tupperware business. You saw the cute little shirt she had on. She earned that shirt from Tupperware. And um, I just want to tell you one of the coolest things about this business is how we come together to help each other. And so if you're sitting there thinking, I would love the try and see program, or you're sitting there thinking, it can't be that easy. It really is. And we help each other. And so when we do cooking shows like this, you get to invite your people, you get to invite your hosts, just like you were invited tonight, and we'll do this for you as well. And we might even get a chance to have you be one of our chefs. So if you're sitting there thinking, I would do that, I could do that. Or you're sitting there thinking, I don't know if I've been ever chef. It's okay. We've got a spot for everybody. You know what's really cool about that is we are all different. And that's one of the coolest things about our company. We do help each other out a lot. Encourage each other all the time. But we're all so different. So we'd love to have you be part of our team. So check us out. Look us over. And say if you're a Tupperware lady, all right, send me the pictures of kit. Let me think about it. Uh, so you can get a copy, okay? All right. And so our next trivia question is... Oh, they're over there and I'm over here. <laughs> oh, sorry, wait a second. <laughs> okay, so our next trivia question is, what is the most popular gift on Father's Day? Well, that's a good one. What's the most popular gift on Father's Day? Hmm. That's a good one. Put your answers in there. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Jessica, how many people do we have on? Hello, everybody, 32. All right, 32. Hey, Alexa, give me a random number between one and 32. Here's a number between one and 32. It's 26. 26. 26. All right, number 26 is Denise with Debbie Morris. Congratulations, Denise. All right, Debbie for inviting Denise and welcome tonight, Denise. Make sure you send me your address in uh, private messenger, Pamela Matheny Clift, and we will send you the link right now to make it super easy for you to pop it in there. Um, and thank you so much for being with us. And thanks, Deb. You're awesome. Always bringing guests, lots of guests on. Way to go. All right. And so let's find out 
what is, uh, do we have anybody guessing our, our answer? What's the most popular gift on Father's Day? Um, got people guessing. Did you put socks and underwear? Mm -hmm. I always got my dad a tie because my daddy was a preacher. So I always got him a new tie for Father's Day because it was like a cool thing for daddy. He needed lots of ties. <laughs> and so, all right, what do we got? Anybody close? What are, what are some of our answers we're getting? Uh, fishing pole. Oh, that's a good one. Game tickets. Oh, that's a good one. Barbecue tools. Oh, we're giving everybody all ideas on how to shop for dad. That's a good idea. We have ties. Ties, t-shirts, watches, watches, coolers, cooler, a grill, a grill. Ah, a somebody grill. wants to eat too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, guess what? In the United States, it is 1.7 billion sold, and it's electronics. So electronics, dad likes electronics, I guess, for Father's Day. Hmm. To the funk, right? <laughs> All right. All right. That was fun. So Jessica, guess do we uh, how many hostesses do we have today? Seven. Seven. All right. Seven. Oh, that's awesome. That's God's number. All right. So all right. So we are anxious to have one of our hostesses win this evening. And when you win, you get a little bigger prize because we are so glad, glad that you got on as a host. Now you can do this every single Tuesday night. We start here at uh, 8 o'clock every Tuesday night. And even if you're a guest here for the very first time ever, uh, just put it on your calendar. Know that you can always get on. You don't have to be part of a party. We want you to be part of a party, but you can always get on and watch and you still can win. All right. And so, um, hey, Alexa, give me a random number between one and seven. Here's a number between one and seven. It's one. One. Number one wins tonight. All right, number one is Elizabeth with Sevilla. Congratulations. That is so cool. Congratulations. Number one doesn't usually win. That's interesting. Well, they have sometimes, but that's a good one. All right. And so, and then we want to just one more time let you know that we're here for you. Should you like to be part of our team? I'll go ahead and tell your Tupperware lady that you want to do one of the cooking shows with us because that helps your host get more free Tupperware and qualify for her host gift special. Because this takes $500 to sales and two of her friends say, I want to do it too. So you help her and somebody will help you. What goes around comes around around here, right? All right. And then last but not least, we want to do our last giveaway to our guest. Uh, that means everybody, it could be a host or a guest. Uh, so go ahead, Jessica, how many people do we have on that I need to do draw for? 32. 32. All right, hey Alexa. Give me a random number between one and 32. Here's a number between one and 32. It's seven. Seven. Lucky seven. <laughs> number seven is Suzanne with Denise Ham. Congratulations, uh, Suzanne. So thrilled you're on, Denise, too. Uh, so congratulations for winning, Susan. And guys, tonight, it's been a wonderful evening. I certainly have enjoyed you, and I hope you've enjoyed the show. And you know what? If you're waiting for a sign, this is it. We had seven drawing twice tonight, God sign. We have this try and see kit. We have the bonus try and see kit we normally don't have. And we certainly have the $15 try and see if you'd like to. So try and see for 15, try and see for 45, or try and see for 119. You can't lose, you can only win. Six weeks, you like it, you stay with it. You don't like it, you get to keep it, all right? All right, guys, thanks so much. You have a great evening, bye-bye.